Dan, welcome to Swindon Town. Firstly, what made you want to make the move here? Uh, thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here, first of all. Um, um, uh, loads of things, really. Um, the, the, the many times when I've played against this team, it's a fantastic philosophy. You know, uh, the manager is a massive factor of me joining the club. But it's just, I'm just so important to be someone that you wanted, and I felt that from minute one, from speaking to the manager, and we had so many, we had a good chat about how he's played against me over the years. Um, he said they wanted to sign me before, but I hadn't, it didn't materialise like that. But just a massive factor of being wanted somewhere, and. Uh, the, the club, the way it is, the philosophy of the way of playing and I've always come up against Swindon teams and thought they're a really good club and a really good side so there's loads of different factors but the main one being just uh, really promising chats with the manager and I just feel like this is the right move for this stage of my career. And what excites you about the challenge here at Swindon? I think there's a load of things like um, I think the group that we've got here I've seen from today there's a lot of good players with a young, a young, quite young squad mixed with some experienced heads but um, the quality that we've got here, also the ambition of the club to get like promotion is something that's uh, very exciting for a player like myself. So, a load of factors really, but um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to getting going. You spoke about it off the camera, but you're a very versatile midfield player. What would you say is your preferred position? I'd probably say like um, as, as a number 10 or an attacking midfielder, that's where um, I feel like I, I can play my best football, you know, um, receiving in areas where I can hurt the opposition between lines, um, but I've also played various positions as a number eight but yeah no predominantly as a number 10 um, so that's where I enjoy playing. And just explain on that a bit more what would you say is your playing style and what can Twinder fans expect from you? I think I can um, what the fans can accept from me is an exciting player a player that always wants to get on the ball uh, create chances score goals and create and uh, create ones for my teammates um, I love winning I want to win games I want to get us three points I want to score big goals and I want to help the team in, in every aspect that I can so just uh, an exciting player who can hopefully get them off their seats. Despite the young age, you know, you've made countless experiences in the EFL. How will that experience help you going into the League Two season? Oh, yeah, no, massively. Um, I've always tried to, you know, at times go out of my comfort zone as well with the moves I've gone and just um, them experiences. You can't, you can't account for the amount of games that you get in men's football. So I've learned different, different ways of playing, different styles. Um, I've travelled quite well across, across the EFL now, but no, I've just, Hopefully I can get, give my experience to some of the lads, but also just learn off the other experienced lads as well. Let's touch on that a little bit more. Obviously, you spoke about your low move to Hartlepool recently off camera. How, how was that for you? Uh, that was a great, great experience for me. Um, obviously, it was disappointing the way that the season ended as a collective at Hartlepool getting uh, relegated, but my form individually was something that was really, really pleasing for myself, like a lot of goals and a few assists. So it was a great experience, and hopefully I can, I can uh, bring that form and that, uh, the way of playing here and it get even better. We spoke about you coming through the ranks at Chelsea and West Ham as a youngster. How will that development and education help you moving forwards? I think um, I, I've, I've been so fortunate to be at both uh, top two academies when I was younger and uh, um, that way of playing but also the development tactically and tactically that you get there. Um, I was very fortunate so hopefully um, that will that stu that stood me in good stead and uh, it's, I think it's just it's part of me now, the way the way I've come from and um, the amount I've learnt. So I'm really thankful for that upbringing and uh, I just want to continue my career in a good fashion now. You spoke about the manager here, Michael Flynn, being a massive influence in you joining. Describe that to me a bit more. I think he's just, as a footballer, you want to be loved, you know. You want someone that wants you and um, wants you to express yourself. That's many conversations we've had on the phone. Um, he said to me, he just wants me to come here, express myself and show my quality. And, that's massive for a player, you know, a manager that believes in you, um, that wanted you. And um, no, so I can't wait to play in front of him and uh, work on, alongside him. And uh, hopefully I can uh, help us to three points and some big goals along the way to help us and the team. Of course, you join us ahead of a busy week in our pre-season schedule. How much are you looking forward to it? I can't wait. Um, I think as a footballer, we're getting closer to the season, which is so exciting, you know, I think it's three weeks or something. So this busy period gives us, gives me an opportunity to get to know the lads quickly and, and uh, the way the manager wants us to play and wants me, me to play. So it's about getting used to that as quick as possible and then, so we can hit the season running. Just finally, what are your personal and also the team's goals for next season? Um, I'd say as a collective, I think we've got to be, Got to be really ambitious and push for emotion. You know uh, the quality that I've seen from this morning and playing against Swindon across the, uh, over the last few years. Uh, they're a massively ambitious club. I know the fans are. So 
for promotion, but also, and then individually just to come in, make up and be a massive player for this team. Um, as I said, score and create goals. Um, I've got a target in my head, but I won't, I won't say that. I won't share that publicly. But yeah, no, be a big player for this group. Um, be someone that the team can rely on in big moments, and just hopefully add, bring my quality, but also give everything for the shirt and the manager. Dan, thanks so much for your time, and good luck at Swindon Town. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.